Podcast.com presents. Well, here we go. Welcome to This Delinquent Life, episode eight, I think. You're right. It's close. We're, we made it. Um, this is loud, too. Uh, this week, we are talking about uh, what do you want, question mark. Uh, I tell, I do jokes and stuff. I talk to a bunch of people. Uh, and it's always weird because, like, you know, you go to open mics, you go to shows, and the, what do people want to get out of comedy? Or what do people want to, even just people that work with construction, like, what do you, a lot of guys will just, like, dig holes all day and then go home and play video games, and that's cool. Uh, I want to see what random people think about that question. I know with comedy, my one buddy just likes telling jokes, so he's cool with that, and he works full time, he's happy, but he doesn't want to get into the whole nonsense of everything. So he's just happy just doing stupid mics and whatnot. Uh, for me, I don't really care. I can do whatever I want because my life's dope. So I can get away with saying more things than most people. A lot of people are afraid to say anything because they don't want to piss off a whoever or whatever. But I've got guests and a co Let's see. Let's bring on the co-host, see what he thinks. Let's give it up for Bino Brogdon. Yeah. What up, what up man? Yo, uh, and real quick, anyone listening, is, is your mic working? Yeah, is my mic working? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? No, nah, I, f- I feel it is working, though. Um, Hello? Oh, Hello? it's going. Do, 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 do. I want this, you know what I want? I want this mic to work. That's Sounds like it's working, but I guess yeah, it does sound like All right, I think we're back? All right, he, got, he gave me the thumb up emoji. And th- this one is not, or it's kind of working. Good. Yeah. And if you're listening, you can always call in and ask us questions or tell us what you want at one eight seven seven five eight seven six eight three three one eight seven seven five eight seven six eight three three. And if you're watching on laughcast dot com slash tdl, you could just the numbers there slash capital T capital D capital L. It has to be like that, guys. It really does. Yeah, it doesn't work. What? What? So, what do you want? What do you think? What I want? So when I think about that question. It's a uh, immediately, even though the question mark comes after the the want, it's still open ended, and uh, what I want can be applied to many situations in my life. So like when I want, what I want, is I want to be happy in general. But you know, that's when a cool thing. Yeah, when I want, when I'm at, at work, I want to be successful. I want to sell. When I'm performing, oh, hold up, hold up. when I'm performing, I want them to love my 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 style of comedy and my humor and i want them to have a good time and escape themselves and come into my world why do you want that for them or for you i think it's a it's, it's twofold i think it's like both of us wanting the same We're you want a good shared experience shared experience that's right i want them to have as much joy as i think i'm going to okay. give them and in the backtrack you, you brought up happiness you want happiness uh, I was consistent happiness not not well, like once in a blue moon happiness i was talking to s- or, I don't know, maybe it was the internet. I read somebody was writing, like, ah, they didn't believe in happiness, you know? They think it's just, you can't have consistent yeah. happiness. That sounds like a depressed-ass motherfucker. Man. Well, I mean, is it and real? I don't know. Depression is real, so, you know. Well, I not just depression, but hap- I mean, I, I, happiness is, exists, I think. Scientists found it. It's heroin, right? No. Yeah, no, no. look it up. That's happiness. No. Is, is, heroin is, is a substance. It's not happiness. Yeah, but, but the chemical that we relate as humans with happiness is actually the same thing that gets released when you inject Endorphins. Heroin. Yeah. So, and so, so, all right, so. And then E is like love. So, like, if you've ever been on Molly or E, you just love everything. It's because that's the same emotion gets pumping. That's just how drugs work. It's just scientists messing with our emotions. I don't believe so. I think you don't you, have to. Nah, nah, I believe it. No, nah, it doesn't mean you're right, though. I don't have to be right. I believe it. No, substances <laughs> don't right. have to make you happy. They can help. No, they don't. They can help ha- enhance the happiness. I think, but well, I don't think you need substances my over, to be happy. My, my thing, my point is, happiness all the time is bad. That's a heroin addict. 
according to science, and you can Google that if you don't believe I don't me. know a happy heroin addict. Because they're so happy they don't do anything. No, they're they just not lay happy. On the, no, you only see them when they're not on heroin, I would imagine, if they're not happy. Right, and that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot of time I see them, they're probably like... Well, that's because you see some bum-ass heroin addicts. You need to meet the doctor heroin addicts. They're living in the even, BM. The, even the what, doctor heroin addicts, because I have experience with them. And I don't want to go into that past of mine. <laughs> But uh, even the well-to-do ones, the suburban nights, even them, and they be fiending for it, and they be sick, and they be throwing up. They just, I just need that. I just need that. Give me. They well, not. They don't my, look happy. Well, that's because you saw him not, and he was talking to you. That makes everyone depressed. <laughs> don't laugh at that. If he was talking that. to me, he would have been. Do not laugh at that. He would have been happy. But my point is, consistent happiness is not necessarily a good thing. You need, you know, some ups and, and downs, I would imagine. I would imagine you are correct on that. I agree you need with that the moderation. Assessment. If you're always happy, you don't appreciate it, and then you just pee your pants. Or is that? I'm thinking back on the heroin addicts. No, I think you're actually right on this one. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Well, should we introduce our? Yes, first? we should. We have a guest. What he's he's not a heroin addict, as far as, as I know. As far as we know. But he could be. I know some pretty cool heroin addicts. Let's give it up for Matt Burn. Mr. Burn. Matt Burn, what's up, baby? Oh, Welcome to the, the this delinquent life. I'm not a heroin addict. Yeah, give it up for Matt. Whoa. So, uh, what 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 do you want? Uh, I was about to say happiness, but you said he said c- consistent happiness can't be without heroin. So it you, could not, be. now you don't want it. <laughs> now <laughs> no, you said fuck happiness. <laughs> yeah, fuck happiness. I mean, it's a nice thing. It's kind of a made up metaphor. It's all cut up with words. Like, yeah, you what can't is be happy it, all the it? time. No, that's kind of unrealistic. But what else you want? Uh, I got a what? Out of life? life, your career, comedy, um. I Drugs, know, whatever. I just want to be. I, I just want to be a good stand-up. That's kind of it. Like, at what level do you want to be like good? As in, like everyone that sees you is like, damn, that guy's good. Or do you want to be like TV good, uh, or maybe bad but on TV? I don't know. Definitely not. Definitely not bad on TV. Like, I'd rather be like respected and like unknown than just. Well, good like, luck. You'll never be respected. <laughs> <laughs> this is a no love business. This is a no respect. Zone. This is a bunch of whiny. Self entitled, <laughs> selfish, right? Being no, just me. No, I can't co sign that, Chris. You don't, but it does seem like it's prevalent. It's definitely prevalent. A bunch of, it's it a lot nothing. of people that do not want you to be happy or succeed. No, they, yeah. they'll act like they'll definitely act like it. Bunch of but respect, respect's also overrated because most people are stupid, so you yeah. don't need their respect. You just need them to stay well, your way. You, and right? you don't really know if they actually respect you or they're just saying they do. They well, if you're winning, they'll respect. You, you know, if you're losing, oh, good try, buddy. You know, they'll, they'll pity you. Right. But either way, they're, they're only happy if they're doing better than you. Most, no? Oh, well, <laughs> so I want to go back to what Matt said. He said he wants to be, he wants to be a respected well, like, stand-up. Just like, good, so, just so like not a good. Like Larry K. He wants to be guy. good. He wants to be a good stand-up. So what do you yeah. say? He said he wants to be a good stand-up. That doesn't yeah. necessarily... Uh, that's not, like not that like, doesn't hinge on respect from others. Yeah, he it just means like respect. Also, it just though. means yeah. like proficient, just like proficient, like just good. Like you just be like that guy's good. But when he says okay, respect, okay. he means he think you you want other comics to be like, oh, he's actually doing something. He's yeah. not just like some hacky. Right. It's it's not garbage. like yeah. It's not comics comic. It's just like he's he's good. He's not a fucking hack. Because that's like my biggest fear is just being the guy who's like a hack. Does now, you, so does a lot resp- of comics fear being a hack, but in reality, most of the comic, like everyone who's judging you anyway, is probably we all do hacky Hack things. Stuff, yeah, right. I mean, it's it's only so limit, so many <laughs> topics. It's pretty limited the way we could talk about. Yeah, it's true. It's all about your perspective. Same yeah, it's all about your take. Hmm? <laughs> the same comic oh. calling you a hack. Hold on one second. Is call, the call a number. Hack. We got we got people that right. want to call in. Call a number is one eight. Seven seven one eight seven seven five eight seven six eight three three. One eight seven seven five eight seven six eight three three. That's correct. If you Please call, call now, him. Bino will answer any question twice. <laughs> Even fuck out of here, son. <laughs> what? But <laughs> <out of here, laughs> <laughs> well, where were we? What were we doing? I have no idea. No, we were talking about uh, him. Uh, we want to respect and, and, and all that. What do you want out of comedy? You do comedy. The ca- comedy, I, I actually just want. My I want audiences to consistently like what I'm bringing to the table, and I want I want to build an uh, audience base that will will actually go to go to war for me. They will ride or die for me. Pe- you know, people that will, will look look. You to want me. a beehive? Or I a want beehive? a beehive. Yeah, I like that beehive. That's that, that, that goes. I want a beehive. I want. I can't. I don't want that because I, I hate. 
See, cat. It's <laughs> it's tough for me because like I I crush right. You know, like I do well, good. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, I, I do pretty good in these rooms, and it's just like I don't like most people I tell jokes for. I mean, I just don't like most people in general. So, so why That's do you do part. stand up? I do it for me, a hundred percent. I'm just. So, a, what do you want from stand up? Exactly what I'm getting. I just get nice. to do whatever I want and just work on bits and kind of. I don't want to say like because I know people. Oh, it's, you know, it's not really art for them, and it's true. But I like to n- be able to do anything and not be worrying about what this guy thinks or what this booker thinks or what this club thinks or what right. this listener. I don't give a fuck. Like right. I'm doing it for me. Right? right, I'm not okay. doing it for money or fame. I don't. But you want the audience to like you. Uh, well, or like you but material. to a certain extent, probably. Right? I, want, I want them to get their money's worth. If right. they hate me and they're laughing, I don't care. As long as they laugh, I right. don't give a shit. Good. They That's can it. go home like that guy's a rude piece of shit, but it was worth my money. Same page, then I like that. Um, I could care, as far I could, as I could, I could, other I could care less about my. I could care less about my peers and, and the gatekeepers and all that. I really could. I could care right. less. Yeah, and what other comics think of me is fine. Like, a lot of them I respect as far as comedy level. Some I respect all for comedy. Uh, some I don't think can write jokes, but I think they're great people. people so some yeah. is the opposite, yeah, you know? Yeah, so it is yeah. whatever it is. Absolutely. It's a weird mess. Of, but comedy, if you're expecting to get a lot out of it at where we're at, like 10 years under or five years under, you know, yeah, that definitely. range, then you're just deluded. Right. De- right? Deluded or delusional? Both. Delusion. Your yeah. brain's full of... Uh, are we? Do we want to hear more from Matt? Because you just seem like you just went off on a tangent. Yeah, Matt, go. What? <laughs> what do you want? I don't know. I get. I guess just keep doing well. Keep doing what like shit. I think's funny. Outside of comedy, what do you want? Uh, I guess be happy. Not like, just not miserable. I guess be <laughs> healthy. <laughs> we have low goals. <laughs> we do have low goals. So you don't want a house? That's. <laughs> I don't know. I just apartment's good. I don't Man, really need a house. I. I want a roof over his head. Let's bring the next guy. See what yeah. you want. I Let's like what... cheeseburgers. I, want... <laughs> I like homemade cheeseburgers. Like cheeseburgers. Yeah. I like homemade cheeseburgers. I'm not a fan of White Castle I like, yeah, I like I those like, homemade. I like those homemade guys. right off the grill. Mm. Yeah. I like yeah. grilled. Shit's good. Well, Big McDonald's hamburgers and cheeseburgers and White Castle hamburgers and cheeseburgers at the end of my list, though. I, yeah. Uh, it's like I, it, I, if yeah. you're drunk and you just want No, that, it works. Now, now, any Anything goes when I'm drunk, though, yeah. except, except broccoli and asparagus. <laughs> I don't, I don't like asparagus. asparagus. Bring on the next guest, man. <laughs> the hell are you so, uh, <laughs> we are so I always messing my man last name. Um, so forgive me. Um, it's metal as fuck. All right, cool. So, uh, welcome, Mr. Ron Metalus. No, Metalus. Metalus. Right? Oh, man. Did I Ron Metalus. I had it wrong. What is it, Ron? It's Metalus. You said you were going to mess it up, though. So Did I do it? You did mess it up. Uh, but that's fine. Sorry about that. <laughs> my apologies. Ron, what do you want? That's tough. I got a list of demands. All right. We got to get me out of debt first, all of us. All right. I want to be debt free. <laughs> Check. Go ahead. How how much are we willing to commit to getting me out of uh, college debt? $20 each a oh, month? You, you said we, as in, like, you're yeah, incorporating this Vino. This is a collective thing. Uh, Vino, you're a part uh, of this. No, I'm you just I'm me. just moral support, Ron. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just moral support over here. You know, I try yeah. to You help. want to get out of debt. Yeah. You shouldn't have went to school. Yeah. Oh, well, I was a very, I was a young person. Who and got uh, lied to by dumb adults. Yeah. Was, uh, we're all in that club. What a bunch of nitwits. I hate old people. I was, I was tricked, <laughs> Stupid man. Stupid. No, I'm kidding. So you want to be great. debt-free? What else you want, Ron? I want to be debt-free. Um, I I think I want to be in a relationship. <laughs> you uh, think? I think I do. If only to prove that I can do it. So With, do you want it or do you think you want it? I don't think it he be, wants it. I don't it think he both. wants it neither. It, yeah. could be, it, it could be two things. Uh, what else do I want? We got to <laughs> abolish the Electoral College. Oh, I thought you were going to say slavery. Yeah, so you want, you want, <laughs> we got to reestablish that. We Get rid of the prisons. <laughs> yeah, we, we got to. I'm going to abolish this. We got to. Uh, Abolitionists. Yeah, decriminalize drugs. All of them. Leave the heroin addicts alone, Bino. What did they do to you? You want to decriminalize heroin? Yeah. All so drugs. you want to turn it into a straight health issue and like set up camps to take care of them, like where you feed them like free free. We got a call. Let's take call. the call, then we'll talk about heroin later. Yeah. Caller, go. Yo, talk about heroin now. Yeah. Heroin. Yeah. What up, <laughs> Biscuit? <laughs> Biscuit. Brandy Mitchell. This is our buddy uh, Biscuit from Norristown. <laughs> Biscuit going to be in a live show. He knows all about heroin because he's from Norristown. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I watched somebody uh, fucking do that shit in the rain once. Like, it's boring. <laughs> 
That's Going happiness. You don't do that for that sadness. Like. That's addiction. There's a difference. Yeah. yeah. Addiction's happiness. Yeah. You don't get addicted to tofu. <laughs> the fuck, man. <laughs> I, I wish I would have been listening to this thing beforehand, but uh, I decided to call in because I'm a buddy, you know, a fellow delinquent. Oh, we heard you just did, told jokes. How'd it go? Oh, it's it's funny. Like, my favorite thing. <coughs> like, here's the truth that happened to me. Um, they had this host dude, right, and he was, like, talking about the rules and stuff. And he just goes, you know what? Like, I, I came there late. So he was, like, giving me the rules late. He's like, yo, he was, like, you know, he's like, he's like, yo, if you're a black comic, just go up on stage and be a black comic. He said, just be as black as possible. Oh, no, no, this is what he said. He said, he said just go up and be as black as possible. And I was like, I'm saying nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you start, like, dancing for him? Like, ah-ha! No, no, I started you should have done the WB no fucking frog. <laughs> no, but I was just like, he was just like, he was like, uh... When I said that, I was like, oh, I was like, I'm totally going to say nigga. He was like, we're not that black. And I was like, oh, you're a shitty person. <laughs> 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 no, but, what did he want you to, like, rape women like Cosby? <laughs> <laughs> just be as Cosby as possible in this one, all right? Just, no just be cursing, like Cosby. But you can definitely Bill. sexually assault people. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite thing about doing a clean show is that I cursed 13 seconds into it. <laughs> <laughs> did you win? <laughs> and I cursed. <laughs> Fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> Who won? Uh, Ari and um, Brandon Jackson. Ari Fishman. But they, yeah. Oh. They both, they both left before the results came. <laughs> oh. Oh, Biscuit, you called us to tell us yeah. you want heroin. Is that what you want? Yeah, that's what. The, no, actually, Bino, you know what I want? I want that egg big. <laughs> what does he want? He want egg big. He want some like... old English. I ain't uh, got no. He ran out. <laughs> Sipping yeah, on I, you fucking, I, I want to make sure that you have that shit next time, though, man. <laughs> if it's not next time, we had that Bombay <laughs> Sapphire, man. We had that Bombay Sapphire on the live what? show. Uh, we got Brandon what? and Satoyo for the live show, Chris. We got a bunch of people. The, uh, we got a packed house for the live show. That's what's up. Why'd you pick another guest other fuck? than Satoyo? He's going to take up an hour. <laughs> 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 not on my show. I'll yell at him. See him get, to, get <laughs> a head start. Right. Yeah. Let me tell you what they said. Go Mitchell, go. What, what do you got to say? No, no. What do you? What do you? What was the topic again? What, what, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Do you want to win that contest? Question mark. No, no. I want like I would not be able to ride public transportation. That, Word. That's, Man, we got some real it. life goals Word. here. I like Jeez. that. I like that. One. <laughs> if I could, I would like I accept it to work way, properly, so yeah. people wouldn't say that. Yeah, that's what I want. If I could want. find a way to just not do that, I'm cool. Pino, what do you want out of life? You're an interesting dude. <laughs> you might be the most. You might be the most interesting person I know. What do you want? Oh out of wow, life? <laughs> wow, yo. So that, my answer to that is, I want consistent happiness. That's 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 pretty much my thing. He wants heroin. <laughs> no, no, I so don't want that. That's consistent what is, happiness. No, I feel like. I feel like you guys should have just let Matt talk about it for as long, because like he's like young and still has like. Almost hope for the future. Like his life has to. He doesn't seem yet. like he has any more. Matt, hope. you married? <laughs> Matt, you married? No. <laughs> Do you oh. want to be married? Oh. I don't know. I'm Twenty. I have no idea. So, 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 Ryan, you said being married. Oh, you said being in a relationship is something that you want. What is it about a relationship that you want? The consistent pussy, or is it cons- <laughs> consistent? Oh, well, I'm, assu- I'm assuming it's a woman, but I mean, it might be a man. Do you? So, what do you want? You want a, consistent? Do you want consistent? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Sexual intercourse with somebody? Well, there's Tinder for that. You don't need. Or do you, you want to get married anymore? It's or do you 40s. just want somebody want companionship? to companionship? Talk to. Yeah. I, I love how many. How many, do you want to ask more questions? Yeah. 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 We just want to answer. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Do you want Especially to about the homo part. Yeah. Are you on Grinder? <laughs> do you want someone to read the Grindr's newspaper with? No. Do I want someone to read the newspaper with? That would be dope. The newspapers. That would be dope. Dope. That sounds kind of romantic. I want to get a New York Times subscription at some point. No, it's just I've never been in like a. a, a Long term relationship, so it's just like a was it like your a choice or their choice? Sometimes it was both, combination of both. What's the longest you ever been in a relationship, Ron? A year, oh, that's not bad. That's a yeah, whole spin around time. Yeah, that's that's very if you're black, that's very long term. <laughs> that's like that's like equivalent to being like married and shit. Like, when that's I was your with my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, basically, like being like <laughs> wifey status is a, is a big thing. It's a really big thing. So, wifey status or wife I, status? Wifey. Wifey status is even big. 
Because, you know, you don't just go around like, I get caught up in the point of just being like, oh, you know, that's my jaw. And I was with my girlfriend for like three months before I stopped calling her, like, before I stopped being like, yo, this is my girlfriend. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> So this is wifey like, now. I, yeah, I was like, oh, you know, this is wifey. So how's wifey it going with big. her? Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> great question. Doing, <laughs> you uh, winning? Doing this shit. Yeah, in and out. <laughs> yeah, that's doing, how it works, Doing Chris. the shit that I'm doing now. Fucking comedy and ingbing. You can only, you can only do it for so long. Thank, no, thank you can ingbing. always do it. I'm old enough, right? Being that we made it. <laughs> we can just keep... Do- <laughs> just just well, keep... No, the, ver- the verdict is still out on that one. <laughs> no, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bino, you, are you in a relationship right now? No. Oh, he's got a baby. Yeah, he's That's a proven. relationship. Excuse me? Point, point, point proven. You can't, you can't have comedy and malt liquor. It doesn't, it doesn't mix well with the relationship. <laughs> it doesn't you, mix well. Yeah, well, I think I got some other issues going on besides malt liquor that's stopping me from being in a relationship. He's got a baby. Uh, that helps with relationships, right? They so I'm not, I, I'm not actively seeking a, a relationship. So I'm not like, you know, I'm not really interested. Why don't you like relationships? It's not that I don't like them. It's just at this point in my life, I'm not. That's not. That's not really a concern of my relationship. Hmm. Uh, in terms of like boyfriend girlfriend <laughs> relationship, we better get. Oh yeah, Mitchell, we gotta say <laughs> bye Mitchell, to you. Oh, no, we Mitchell. still have one more Goodbye. guest. We only got like 15 minutes. We've been running through. Oh this. yeah, yeah, 15 minutes. 15 uh, who's minutes? the other guest? Is that, no, is that, I don't think it's the right time. Like 30. Chris, what yeah. time? Chris? Oh, oh, we, oh, we really do only have 15 We've minutes. Been We've been killing yeah. Jesus Christ. This. Let's bring on the... Hey, yeah, yeah. hey Biscuit, thanks, thanks for calling, man. See you at the I'll live see show, guys, baby. Yo, keep, keep it real. Oh, well, we try, man. Bring the ing bing next time. Bam. All right, we got one more guest, and he is different than all the other guests because he doesn't tell jokes. All right, oh, cool. Well, let's give it up for Adrian to show you. Ooh. It's 9.55. We got plenty of time. You rushed yeah. it. It says 10.15. But it's wrong. <laughs> it's, well, how no, do I it's know? It's not 10. It's 9.55. I thought we had no, plenty. I don't know. The other computer says 10.15. Yeah, they're what? wrong. I don't know. Which one is that? Chris trying to get us out of here, man. 9.56 on my phone. I believe you now. So <laughs> what do you want besides the right time? Uh, besides the right time, uh, I want someone to pay me to write. Uh, I want to be a professional magician, and I want Donald Trump not to be the president. Oh, Those wow. are the things that, that last I want. one is a hard one. <laughs> last one's gonna be pretty tough. Electoral yeah. college or a bullet? Uh, Electoral uh, college. So I in two thousand I saw this shit happen. Um, I, yeah, it, it was a mind fuck at first, but when they got explained to me in two thousand, I kind of got it. Like, oh yeah, it's kind of like a. If you remember checks and balances? Well, everything kind of like in our government is all about checks and balances. So I get the whole electric. Well, electoral it was, yeah, but I just don't. I just don't feel. I don't, I don't like the weight that the popular vote gets receives from the media. Like, it really is a meaningless scoreboard stat. It's, that's not a scoreboard stat. It's meaningless? More than half the people voted for someone else. The tally of the votes is a meaningless stat? <laughs> unfortunately, that's, unfortunately, you guys witnessed it just like I did, right? Yeah. It shouldn't be meaningless, She's 1.5 mil. She has 1.5 mil more votes than him. Well, 1.7, right? But now. there's going to be two and a half. I think the real reason the Electoral College was put in it was, was so that... Um, if somebody like Trump gets elected, they could go there and be like, nah, fuck him. <laughs> right. I think that's why. No, they, no, they put it in because rich white dudes owned a lot of land. So they, like, weighted the electoral college system to people who are rich and white and owned a lot of land. That's why, like, bullshit states where there's lots of land but not a lot of people get, like, hmm. way more say in, like, who's, like, who gets to be in charge. So that's Damn. stupid. No, I don't think it's stupid. I don't, it's true. It's true. I don't think that's true. I don't think that might be a, it might be accurate in terms of... Wyoming has some, way more some, electoral it might be votes accurate. than they should, right? Yeah, no, what, they have, like, like, eight... No, but like a, a vote yeah, in Wyoming yeah, yeah. is like twenty five times as powerful for the electoral college as like a vote in California. But I don't think that's I don't think what? that's due to old, like rich How? white men owning land or nothing like that. Though. Well, that's the, just that's well, just no, the that's, state of geography and populations. Well, when it got made, no, but even, no, but even when it wasn't though, the guys who like wrote the, like the Constitution were rich white dudes who owned land, and so right, like, they wanted but, to make sure that like people who owned land got like rep like. And when was right, so so businesses and property yeah. businesses and property ownership has always been something this society has been built on, right? But so the thing is, the true democracy would never would never be would never work. True democracy would right. work just like a tyranny. If you had the majority of people, you had the majority of people making decisions. It's almost like I heard this uh, example the other week. It's like uh, two two wolves and a sheep arguing was for lunch. 
you know, it's uh, a true true democracy, a true majority. Uh, we wouldn't get things accomplished like we think we would. I disagree. Um, so out of you know, out of a two, two so you're talking about of, the difference between a direct democracy and what we have now. You're saying a direct democracy, like referendums, don't work. That's how we have weed legal. I'm not saying they don't. I'm not saying they don't. I'm not saying they don't work. I'm saying if 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 all right, a true democracy is a, a direct well, democracy. Right now we if have, all we the votes, if, if the all right. the so if all the votes were were equally weighted, okay. Well, that's still not a direct democracy. That's still a representative democracy, right? We're picking no, representatives that, to run for us. A direct democracy would be like Quaker town hall meetings where every single one in the town goes to the meeting and is like, yo, I say fuck you, and then we all go at it. You know, okay. I'm, I'm for a direct democracy. Problem is with those is you have millions of fucking people. You can't really do that. So you have a exactly. representative You can't democracy. really do that, right? We have, so we have it. That's what we have. But you can do it in local government, which yeah. we don't do. And you can have referendums where people could just vote for things, and we don't have that in Pennsylvania, and we should have that. The more direct democracy we can get, the better. The because better. corporations suck balls. Right and unions like suck, and we sucks. and we count corporations as people in this society. We don't. The Supreme Court yeah. does, and we. But fuck everything. I hate everything. Uh, but but yeah. uh, what else did you? What want? else do you want? You said, <laughs> what else do you want? No, I want I want someone to pay me to write, and I would like to be a professional magician. Like I'd love a Vegas. So you like pay to, to write what? Pay to write what? My political opinions. Oh. Like I'd I'd love to be like a columnist for like the New York Times. Hmm? So he went to American years. University for uh, to run political campaigns. Like I worked for the Democratic Party for like four or five years in D.C. Oh. Doing all kinds of like bullshit. Did you like working for the machine? Did you? Uh, yeah. I did. It was awful. What, what campaigns did you? Uh, I worked on a bunch of like no name campaigns. I was like the dude in his early twenties who like they sent out if they're like getting crushed by twenty points somewhere like that we're just not gonna win. Mm -hmm. But like the person running that campaign had a heart attack, so like someone has to be in charge for two <laughs> weeks while you lose. Like yeah. I was the guy they sent out to like the best of it. Right. So like there was just someone there. Political but, scapegoat. Oh yeah. So, Dick, if you uh, you want you want you want to uh, call in and you want to discuss what you want or what we want, you know, you got a problem with uh, heroin, um, call us at one eight seven seven five eight seven six eight three three. Call on in. We we're waiting for you. Or uh, if you work for the New York Times, if you'd you like to give me a job writing, yes. uh, let me know. A political? Are you out there, Slate? Are you out there, Slate? <laughs> I'll even write for HuffPo. 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 Uh. Do you do you submit articles to media? No. Oh wow! You you didn't even let me finish that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he jumped on. Just, no, no. <laughs> so, magician. So, tell us about what you want as a magician. Uh, I know. I'd, I'd love a stage, like a stage show in Vegas. Like I'm like the world's shittiest magician, so I couldn't have a stage show in Vegas. But like, wow. I'd, I'd also want the talent to have a stage show in Vegas. I've okay, seen the right, There you go. Got more articulate on us for there. <laughs> a little nuanced. <laughs> I want the, the talent of a magician. What's up, Stenner? I've seen him do magic. He's good. He's good. Why do he say you're shitty? Well, because I guess he knows people that are really good. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Like, to me, he's really good because I, I don't know magic. I saw a David Blaine clip. Y'all know, you know David Blaine. I, I do yeah. Know David Blaine. Do you believe in him as a magician? I think he's an excellent magician. All right. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Because I've seen this clip where he, like, barfed up frogs. Yeah, he does a lot of, like, crazy stuff on TV, but, like,. He it also does he, just like legit straight like. Yeah, didn't he like guy. drown himself or something? Yeah, he does like, like he does all days. kinds of like crazy. He like survival his tests, balls yeah. and stuff. Yeah, like, he's buried, a weird. buried himself alive, like suspended himself in, like a glass coffin. I heard he got met brain damage from all that fucking uh, holding his breath underwater. He mm. talks like he's brain damaged. Yeah, yeah. It looks, definitely looks. And like you remember that Chris like... Angel guy? Yeah, is he still alive? I don't know, but he was a he was a weird dude. The mind freak. Yeah, he dressed funny. He was banging Drew Barrymore. Wow. One of them? Drew. No, not Drew. Uh, Cameron Diaz. Even better. See, that's why you should be a magician, dude. Magicians always banging chicks that they have no yeah. right to they get. They crush posts. Well, that's because they, they're charismatic. Like David Copperfield got Claudia Schiffer somehow in the 90s. Magic. <laughs> How about Copperfield? Is he a great magician? Oh, yeah. All right. No, those guys are all legit. Like, you, you can't have like a Vegas stage show like Penn and Teller, all those guys. You can't have a Vegas stage show without being. And that's super what, legit. That's so, so you, you want to be in you want to be in that debate. You want to be in that. Oh yeah, that conversation. That's like, nice. like if, you're, if you're a comedian, you can get like an HBO special. Mm -hmm. That's like the, uh, it's like the equivalent of like being a magician getting like. A yeah, stage but see, show. there could be a lousy ass comedian getting an HBO special. There ain't no who, lousy ass magician. Who are the who are the like, magic like Carlos Mencia? No the, idea. Uh, the HBO executive yeah. decides that, that magician who wears the mask who reveals tricks. Yeah. Yeah, who's the, who's yeah, the magician guy. gatekeepers? Who's we want to know. Oh, man. Of <laughs> <That's a great laughs> I know. The, I know magicians that just go around like TJI Fridays and weird places. You know, Applebee's, yeah. and they do tricks table to table, and they, you know, get tips and 
That's, that's like cool. that's worse than telling jokes at a bar, right? It is, yeah. That's that's depressing. like that's like uh, that's almost like the the woman who comes into the bar with flowers and is like, hey, get oh, yeah. a flower for the girl. Yeah, <laughs> try some get one of those twenty dollar roses. Yeah, <laughs> the roses seventeen million dollars. Hacky hustle. Yeah. And, and they can oh, if they can steal watches really well. Oh yeah, all those women. No, well, no. probably the women. Oh, magicians. Was, magicians. Yeah. <laughs> they can both steal watches. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. No, that's, that, that's one of those things that you start practicing it, and you got to get real good real fast because you start doing it to strangers, and if you get caught halfway, you can't just be like, oh, I was doing a magic trick. <laughs> How do you, you practice? How do you practice magic? Like in the mirror? Or do you practice with like you'll, Same way you masturbate. People? With people? Yeah, you oh, just practice. Exactly. It's the same way I masturbate. I do it alone right. in my room until I get really good at it. Then I go down to my like roommates, and I show them. Do you show your roommates oh, yeah. your masturbation no, techniques? Sure. I do. You don't? <laughs> no. How do you I've get never, better? You know, without, without criticism and like evaluation. Yeah. How are you going to get better? How do yeah. you know my masturbation techniques were up for review? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not worried about well, you. You have good today. form. Yeah. You want to make it this down. Yeah. It's Man. like voting every four years. You have <laughs> to direct you democracy. Got, you got to get a, 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 a referendum on my, my, my jerk off <laughs> techniques. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that I'm done talking about magic and masturbation. <laughs> Chris, I, uh -oh. I got a, I got a question for you. Uh oh. Because I feel like you have a if you could tell me, uh, so you could stop me if I'm incorrect. I feel like you have a chip on your shoulder in the Philadelphia comedy scene, right? In life. Oh, <laughs> hot take. <laughs> would you hate the true or false? I hate everyone, so I would agree. Sounds yes, true. Yeah. yeah, but hot takes. Now let's say tomorrow. Then you got booked on all the shows that aren't booking you now. And then every time you go to Raven, they're just like, oh, Chris, you got to go third. You're going third every time. Just putting you in the hot spot. Would that make you happier, or would you be a apathetic towards that? Third, like as in good spot or bad spot? Third as in, like, that's the cleanup hitter. Well, I always go in good spot at Raven anyway, because people, the people there running in now are cool with me. I'm just always on shows and things anyway. But, yeah, the Center City scene doesn't really book me much on their shows. And I don't. No, why? Because I'm a white male, so I should be getting booked on the shows. I know. Right? Oh, That's how it works. Privilege talking. But you, would you want? Would you, <laughs> is, would isn't you that what they hear on the internet? Isn't that yeah. what everyone's saying? If maybe, you're a white maybe male, you're not male. But I, uh, like, the, the, I'm not even. The, the, there was a spreadsheet made, and on seven of those shows on the spreadsheet, I've only was booked on one of those shows. And oh, I'm like way funnier than most comics in Philadelphia. Well, what was the spreadsheet? And I don't give a thing? shit. Delinquent lives matter. <laughs> And that's a fact that you but can. It, but yeah. if you, but if those shows like booked you yet tomorrow, like would you be? I'll do the show you, and you I'll do fucking it, do. You, like I just got booked on Note Boy, right? I don't yeah, know if that yeah. was one of the shows. I do the show and that's fine. I don't, I don't hold grudges because you didn't book me before. It's just I know how, I know I can get booked outside of Philly, no problem. And I know in Philly they don't book me. And is it because of jealousy? Is it because of I get booked elsewhere so they don't feel like they have to book me? Is it because they just don't think I'm funny? Is it because certain people don't, you know? That's fine. But do, you, do you not like their Facebook posts, maybe? That could be a reason. <laughs> I don't know, man. You got to go to parties. And I don't like show Facebook up. Posts. I don't do is any this, of that. Is stuff. it something you dwell on, or is, is this you just answering the question? Well, right you now. know how it is. Like, sometimes you're pissed. Sometimes you're not. But, like, for the most part, where I'm at now, I could care less because, like, I do my own thing. Your own thing, right. But it is. it still bothers you, you know, because you're just like... Like, like uh, Brandon Mitchell was just on... He just called in. I was at this show... We were just, I was at some show at Good Good the Comedy Theater, and then the show later was like Finger on the Pulse for up-and-coming comics, and they booked Brandon Mitchell on that show. And that's disrespectful and bullshit, because he's been doing comedy longer than a bunch of these clowns who aren't even funny that get booked all the time on all these bad shows because they're part of this Circle Jerk Network. And it's stupid. Why is he on? And he's going to say yes to the show, because what else? He's not going to say no to a show. But the fact he's getting booked with all these comics that nobody even... There's comics that have been started, like, Ron, you started way after him. You get booked way more than him. I'm not saying you're funnier or less funny than him, but, like, it's just weird. Who they pick to like, who they pick not to like. Maybe you put more time in the scene. He's a suburb guy. It's harder for us to get out. But it's it's just fucking weird. All right, so when you say that it's fucking, it's fucking weird, right, my, my thing is, if you already know, it's, it's a lot of it is about networking and relationships. So it, it really is not, not a... So it's not about being funny. Well, a lot of times, it, I mean, that's weighted, too. But I mean, no, got, yeah, but that's my point. It's wait, waited is the, is the it's waited. phrase. Waited, it's waited. And to so, me, so, so, but you're going to book your friend over me, uh, you're not doing it because you want to put on a good show. You're doing it because either you're intimidated by me because I'm funnier than you, 
right? Or you're doing it because you're just doing your friend a favor, which is fine. I book my friends on shows, whatever. Right. But it's disrespectful to all the people that actually work hard and put time in when you book someone on that's not even going to mics, doesn't even get on shows, doesn't even try, but he's your friend. I'm he not goes sure to if it's disrespectful. If it's an opportunity. If it's an opportunity. All right, cool. But, it's you, but, you, but you but you, already, you're on record as saying uh, comedy is not really, a stand-up comedy is not really an art form. Well, I'm saying some people say it's not. Some people think it is. I, my, the way my take on comedy is, yes, for me, it's more of an art form. I do whatever I want. I'm not trying to sell things. So when nepotism comes into play, you think that's a disrespectful to the art? Well, when I think like, I not- think it's disrespectful to you as the person putting on the show. I think it's disrespectful to the audience. I think it's disrespectful to other comics that <laughs> put time in. I think it's disrespectful for people that like pay money. Okay. Yeah, it's bullshit. Yeah, but why should comedy work like that when like nothing else does? Like, nothing else is about how good you, you are. Are you being right, sarcastic? No, I'm serious. Like, like nothing else is a meritocracy. Well, that's my it's major problem you know, with capitalism. Right. So, 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 so why should, yeah, so why should comedy be about how funny you are if like, like nothing else is about how good you are at, that, at a particular job? Everything's about who you know and how likable you are. That is so extreme. Because yeah. so, so skill always matters. Skill, no. skill always matters. It's just certain certain circles. Last the power play, the power structures, that, the power structures. At hand, they look out for their friends and their family, people people they respect, people in their circle. I mean, you might call it disrespectful. But I just I just say, hey, that that is the the landscape. That's the playing field. That's- yeah, but for a person like me who doesn't play in that, like I don't play that game. Like I'm not trying to make groups and friends, and I have a good like I don't need that. I, I never like groups. I don't like group thinking. I think it's stupid. I don't like the whole aspect of it. I don't like like ah, and and all right, okay. You can roll your eyes. It's fine. I just never. It was never for me. You know. Like I mean, I, who's like you got You have one person acting unilaterally, and you have eleven people talking together, to figure something out. Who's who's more biased? Who's who's more like single minded in that? Great question. I. I'm single. I never said I wasn't stubborn and angry and single minded. Right, I'm just, I'm just, I just, I'm just telling you what works better for me. <laughs> Right. Well, I, I think I think the assumption there though is that everyone has a say in what the group decides, as opposed to it's still one person leading a group. Like often, I'm not saying it's necessarily the case here, but like that's what that's the, that's what I think the problem with groupthink is that like, you often have like one person who's a leader, and, and this, then it's like, usually they just get ten just... people to go along with them, and, and, then, like, that and no one in your powerful, even if it's only one person's opinion. And my biggest problem with the group thinking is no one's wrong in your group, even if you know they're wrong. You can't say like Bino's wrong. You know, because yeah, he's in your sure group. You can. And then, it's, it's, people, it's, and then it's, you're going to go down the rank in the group. That's no, just the way. I, don't, I, don't, I really don't think that's the Groups case. can be. I, it, it obviously yeah. depends on what group dynamic you're in and what group you're in. But a lot of times, criticism leads to ostracization or you're yeah. not allowed in the group. Like, if everyone's like, hey, we don't like Chris, and you're the one going, no, nah, I like Chris, no, nah, I like Chris, eventually you're going to learn to stop bringing up Chris. Like, it's just. Right, it's how groups work. Right, and, and you're it's example. one-minded thinking. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how this election you're not gonna, just works. If there's two groups going at each other, and um, Bino's on my side, but he's wrong, and uh, you're not on my side, and you're right, I might not say Bino's. I might not say like uh, Bino, you're right, and be like you're right, Bino, even though I know he's wrong. But I'm not gonna take either side. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna go on your side because you're not on my team. Why? Right. So that power. So and that's, that's stupid. But that's but you, you personally wouldn't do that, right? No, but that's why I don't work well in, in group. That, that, that power play, that's stupid. That power play that you that you would do that you're enacting by not agreeing with him, even though he's right, because I'm on your side and I'm wrong. That power play is the same power play that that you're railing against. That's what I'm railing against. Yeah, I think that's stupid. But you just embody you embody that whole thing, though. No, I'm saying I was demonstrating a point to say that's stupid. I don't like that. I wouldn't do that. So you would put your chest out and be like, "Yeah, Ryan." I would, do, in, in real life, if me and you are friends, I do this to you all the time. Yeah, when duh. you're stupid, I yeah, say you're I stupid. I know, all the I time. I don't care Thanks. for friends, but <laughs> that's, <Remind me>. that's <laughs> not group <laughs> dynamic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. Dude, I am mean, I making I, any points? I, I see what you're saying. In my group, you could, you're allowed to disagree. Yeah. Or the comedy group that I'm in, we disagree a lot. But there's also a difference between, like, you know, like... There's also like you know psychopaths running groups, which is obviously <laughs> clearly a problem, and that happens all over the place, like in our country. In any facet, yeah. any realm, any game. That's fair. And if everyone was just individually strong and could just get funny on, like, yeah, you can work with others. It's good to have acquaintances. It's good to work, but don't get stuck into this little clique or group and not expand your variety. Like, don't just try to make them think you're funny. You know, there's like. Obviously, you're not doing that. I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, you need to expand and, and work in different groups. You expand know. Expand your horizon. <laughs> <laughs> what I thought you was gonna say at first. <laughs> man, need... what you man? You been quiet, man. What you think about this whole 
this thing, man? Because you uh, said you Matt, want you're a young guy you want respect too. from your peers and all this stuff. How do you feel about you know the the comedy game in this, uh, in this region? What do you mean, like? You know, what, do, what part you, of it? do you have ease? Do you have difficulty getting on shows, or it's pretty? It comes uh, easy well, for you. I mean, the pat. I mean, I haven't been doing comedy as much because I had to get surgery, like this big surgery. So I've been like home. So I've been a little away from it. I've only been able to do comedy like a little bit. Well, when you were going heavy and you didn't have this situation now, did you have a problem with the game? Or were you very satisfied hitting your mics up and getting the bookings that you were getting? Oh uh, well, I was just starting. Well, I was like literally just starting, so I wasn't expecting anything. All so right. I didn't really. So I was kind of just like try to get better until like I didn't really I didn't really think about like getting booked on stuff because I, I just wasn't good enough to get booked on stuff so, so I was just so, like just developing yeah so maybe if we keep that that mindset intact well maybe imagine, we, we don't feel like the way you feel well right? I would imagine it goes away after a while because like when you do I would imagine when you're doing comedy for a while you're just like you're just like something has to give well sometimes and like how many Tournaments have you won, Bino? None. Or competitions? I've, yeah, I've, I've been won in like competitions. Seven. Seven. Yeah, I haven't won. Tournaments. I've won so many of them, and it doesn't matter. You still won't get booked on shit. For in it's from <laughs> certain circles, you know what I mean? Like my whole point is, like I was at Boston Comedy Festival. I was actually getting booked on actual shows, getting on actual festivals. I was in like Philly's Funniest Finals, and then what? I'm going on the people running Raven at the time. They put me on second half, third half, and these guys are losing in the first round. It's like clearly. You know, and they would put me on after people that everyone talks shit on openly. I don't even say their names because I respect. Like, that's a, that's that's literally the strangest part is when you talk to people, it's like I don't like that guy, and, and then you go to their put mic, on the first half, and then yeah, they put him on the first that's half. It's like, wait, you made your friend wait until one a.m. and the guy that you openly talk shit about, who openly talks shit about you, then you <laughs> have to put him for, for what? Maybe they appreciate the talent. It's no, I it's don't, somebody I'm, in their I literally group do is, not understand. It's, it. it's it's group working. Someone in their group is making them. It's how groups work. You well, don't get to do what you group, want. Someone uh, in the group likes them, so then yeah. that's be, that's because or they were just like lying to you because they were just trying. Thought you didn't like them. Like, yeah, good I point. Uh, or maybe yeah, the person, maybe that's this person, point. they really bring it. You just said it in the beginning. You say, yeah, it's comedians that I really respect all stage, but you know, I don't really think they're the funniest. Maybe it's the same principle. That's going a good on. point too. Bro. Yeah, because they, you could be funny and then people don't like you. Right. So maybe it's the same funny or they respect your talent. Maybe it's the same same principle. All I know is comics that we all know. That used to get shit. Is this on? Dead? Uh, bleh. Comics, like, I don't want to say their names, but everyone, nobody liked them. They would put them on. <laughs> <laughs> they would put them on. I liked them because I, I don't, you know, whatever. They'd put them on right before me. Right. Right after they started talking, like, but we're we're a fickle bunch though, Chris. We're humans. We're fickle. But we're what fickle. I'm saying yeah. is, they I were said, I trying said to things. make a message, or they were just like they don't they they were either trying to prove a point, like saying, "Hey, we don't like you," or they're trying like stop coming to my mic, or they're just you know busy or something. I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah. That's what you I'm don't saying. know. Yeah. But yeah. when you start know. seeing patterns constantly, right. and you get booked on other I'm places just, all the time, everywhere you go, they treat you good, except in the add, place where you're at. Up. Add up. I except the place you're always at. It's just frustrating. But there's nothing you can do about it. And it's not like you're missing much. You it's just your another thing. show. Yeah. You keep right. Doing your own thing. It is what it is. But if you don't say it, you, you if you are a new comic and, and you want to get on certain shows, sometimes you just have to talk because if you know, there's so many other people talking and asking to get on shows. Right. So, right. But and it, and that does work. It, it works yeah. a lot. And that's another thing that should. The thing work. is asking. <laughs> the thing, sometimes asking just you fall flat on your face. So sometimes you don't even want to take the risk. You, I, well, you know, I'm gonna tell you this. You, I think it's about, always worth the risk to ask. Yeah. Ask, sometimes the, what's, what's the squeaky? What's the, term? No, no, the squeaky well, wheel doesn't get? The, well, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, or the clo or closed mouths don't get fed. Right. So I think it's mm. always worth, especially when Good you're point. in a position where you're climbing up and you're really a relative nobody. I think it always some maybe somebody you're not on somebody's radar and just you asking it puts you on the radar. You know. So I, That's a good point. I, I definitely I think it's merit in asking for bookings and asking for help. You know, we ask for advice, we get feedback. People will offer feedback. Just like unsolicited so i mean it's, i think the same principle I mean, well it, plus when you ask directly it changes the thought process for someone like instead of them deciding who they should book like if one person just straight up asked them to be on the show they can just tell everyone else like, oh this dude just straight up asked me right like it just makes it easier to like sell that to your friends that you didn't put on the show right i think we're people i think i think i think we're i think we're just a fickle bunch man I, I i know funny people who don't get who who won't get work now because of they say you know things on the internet on social media that people disagree with so you know, they don't get... That's well, why I don't post on Facebook. But so, that's the most annoying part, the is point. you don't even know why you're getting blackballed. 
Like, they won't even tell you and be like, I'm not booking you on shows. They'll just act like they're friends with you. Well, if half the statuses are passive aggressive, do you really think they're going to be, like, up front? Well, well up that's front. my thing, though. <laughs> Comics act like, oh, I can say anything. I'm a comic, you know? And it's like, no, you're a bunch of pussies <laughs> who get offended about every fucking thing. And they're like, oh, I, you know, oh, PC culture. Oh, every <laughs> comic is so sensitive. They're a bunch of crybabies. I mean, I think some of them. Not all of them. Chris, are, are you a crybaby? I get, yes. <laughs> I'm emotional and I complain a lot. And I get offended a lot. But I mean, everyone does, but they want to act like I don't get offended. Bullshit. You're at home thinking for five hours to write a response to somebody because they made fun of your sister two weeks ago. Yeah. Like, shut the fuck up. Really? Bunch of fucking crybabies. This delinquent life. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. And then, and then like, oh, you complain too much. They, everyone fucking complains. It's America. Wake the fuck It's America. If you're not complaining, what are you, fucking dead? Are you in a coma? Or are you trying to make or, it better? Or you're on heroin. If you're on heroin, heroin you heroin, tend not to complain. Because yeah. you're happy. You shouldn't complain. Do heroin, people. What do I want? What is the internet? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is it? We're getting our clocks fixed. Oh, this is a wacky show. But no. Fuck that. <laughs> what are we yelling about? Uh, you're the one that does most of the yelling all the time. <laughs> I think we reached the end of just talking about booking and stuff. Yeah. Asking, asking works, but it feels dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, well you are whoring yourself. This is a, this is a pimp and whole game. And what you'll pimp learn is game. it is a roller coaster ride. You'll go from doing a theater show like 300 people, packed house, crushing to like back at a fucking lickety split. Totally. That's, the, that's the love. Totally. Of the, that's the love of the art. The love of the sport. That's yeah. the love. So if, you love the if you don't like the, the, love of the game, if you don't yeah. like the stage time, you're just. That's the only time in my life. Right, but your love, yeah. your, love for the, your love for the stage time. <laughs> don't laugh at that, Ron. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that. that. Do not <laughs> encourage this shit. <laughs> your, your love for the stage time, the way, the, the how much you value it, can 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 be the reason why you pimp yourself or you get pimped. Like uh, a lot of people will get give you, they will, they will take advantage yeah. of the fact that you want that stage time and they will throw you on a show where you probably should be paid or compensated. But you oh, won't because that. they know they can get you for free because you so they you know badly it. need. I did that show again. Remember? Oh, you did that show. Oh, the charity show. That so was me and so him did a charity show this one time, and I showed up in sweatpants and a t-shirt, and like I was still fucked up on acid. The cr- <laughs> And yeah, maybe that's why you don't get books. <laughs> oh, listen to the rest but of the it story. Was not, it was not affiliated with Philly at all. So. No, no, this was, I actually got booked on the show because they actually needed a funny comic, which is <laughs> something I guess that they don't need in Philly. Chris is the only funny <laughs> comic in Philadelphia. Of course. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's not my fault. You guys need to step up your game. So I'm in Horsham or whatever. And I show up. I'm wearing Langhorn, sweatpants. The Irish Langhorn, Rover. Whatever. Remember it. <laughs> I show up. All everyone there is wearing suits and ties. Everyone, they're all. It's a charity show for some kids' soccer shit. It's all rich parents or whatever the hell. Uh, Real nice people. And I get there, they're all wearing suits. The other comics are all dressed up nice. He's dressed up nice. No, I was wearing. I was wearing what I'm wearing now. I wasn't dressed up. Better than me. You do look (laughs) dressed nice, Matt. And uh, well, thank you, Bina. The comic who's running it, you know, Christian clean comic. He's wearing a suit. He stares at me. He doesn't even want to shake my hand. He's like, disgust- like, how did I book this guy? Right. Like, what the hell is going on? And then, like, you know, a bunch of comics go on. It's kind of rolling, whatever. This one lady, black lady, uh, Belinda. Claire. Claire, yeah. Real she funny. Killed. She goes on crushes. Everyone just, crushes. I'm supposed to go on next. Everyone just stands up and leaves. Goes to smoke cigarettes. Room's empty. I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do? Intermission. Yeah. Those, so the host is just like, intermission. He, he, even though there wasn't supposed to be one. At this point, I'm drunk because I was just trying to fit in. <laughs> Group think. I get on. I just start crushing, like crushing. Yeah, in the middle crushed. of my set, I'm just like point at like the DJ. I'm like, are you getting paid? He's like, he nods his head. I'm like, point at the waiters and the wait staff. I'm like, are you guys getting paid? <laughs> they're like, yeah, they nod. That. And then I'm like, audience, everyone's making money for the charity. And they're all just like clapping. I was like, then why the fuck am I not getting paid? <laughs> like, this is bullshit. That was actually yeah, a good point. Dropping troop bombs? <laughs> dropping troop bombs. And they all just start bombs. clapping. Yeah. And so they... they so they paid you this next time? They did not pay me for the one where I shit on the whole thing. But they all loved it. The guy who ran it, then he had to go on after me, you know, ended up with some raffles and things, whatever the fuck. Everyone, like, coming up to me afterwards. Then, like, a year later, I get a message from the comic, and he's just like, oh, they really want you back. Like, how, you know, they're going to pay you this time. Da, 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 da. hundred bucks. Nice. And Solid. I crushed again. Solid. Right, good. And it, I mean, but this time they got a bunch more older comics. 
Yeah. Because, like, last time they tried to get younger comics, this time they and the, the well, crowd's think, older. Well, I think uh, they do it out of people. Because I remember, like, the first couple months I did comedy was in, like, New Jersey a little bit. Because I live near New Jersey. So I think he's picking, like, more New Jersey comics. Because he's, I think uh, the guy who runs it is a New Jersey guy. Makes sense. Yeah. But it, it was just a me- Like, the crowd is fun. They get wasted. They love drug addict jokes. They like druggies. My type of place. And then, and it's a charity, so it goes to like kids to play soccer, which is definitely a white privilege charity, right? Yes, very white privilege. For your privilege. kids to do youth I, athletics. I did a dog. I don't park. know about throw privilege in there, but hey, you said it. What do yeah. you think it is? I'm a not, charity. I'm not sure for, a charity. Yeah. I mean, just because it's so. I mean, it's like 80, 80, 85, 80 percent y'all of y'all that <laughs> comprises. Everything y'all do can't be classified as privilege. I'm just, well, yeah. I'm just saying that charity. So that oh yeah, charity. Y'all, had, y'all had a charity. That's privilege. No, no, no. He just means in, he means in the context of charity. Yeah, like which you can give to yeah, like, like who, a Haitian family after a hurricane. Yeah, like who gives this charity? charity? Oh, that's like, or, like, the or you position, can raise money for Trevor to have nicer cleats. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the position <laughs> to provide. Trevor. Very well. The, presi- the position to provide is privilege. Okay, but a lot of us no, complain. No, 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 not no, the no, position no. I think he's just saying it's a dumb cause, charity. If you're going to give charity. I think he's saying it's a dumb fucking right, charity. If you're going to run a fundraiser yeah. for your kids to play soccer, yeah, it seems weird to me. It's but a dumb, I guess that's it's something a dumb we need. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, get like your pizza shop to sponsor your team. Or just pay for your kids to play soccer. Just, yeah. <laughs> like you're the parents. But they run a great show. <laughs> we we got to get our plugs in for our guests. Plug. Thanks for coming out, yo. All right. Let's get our plugs. Hey, man, what are you doing? Man, you uh, literally nothing. Uh, so if you see this, book me on your show. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> All right, Matt Byrne. He's got joke. Ron Metellus. Hey, Joe. I I'm gotta a, write this down, Ron Metellus. Yes. Yeah, hey, hell yeah. I'm in a the comedy group, Laughs on Philly. All right. <laughs> oh. Find us on Facebook and Twitter. I do a show called Is Your Commute Garbage about commuting. I'm doing it at 2 a.m. at a Fit Theater on sa- Saturday at 2 a.m. Next sat- was was is this coming out? Part of the Black Friday comedy this, marathon. This is a part of Black Friday comedy marathon. Nice. And then I'm doing it again uh, at Win Win December 14th, Wednesday, 9:30. And last on Philly, it runs an open mic. Well, what, when do you run open mics on Laughing Philly? We run open mic Monday at Ortlieb's Lounge. Where's Monday Ortlieb's? at 8. Ortlieb's is in Northern Liberties. It's 3rd and Poplar. All right. Next to apartment construction. All right, cool. Anything else coming up? Uh, no, I'm just grinding, man. All right, hey, y'all support Ryan. Just grinded. All right, uh, I got nothing to plug. Everybody have a happy Thanksgiving. Actually, maybe one thing I want to plug. Uh, Temple Open Mic, every Friday at uh, Sage Cafe. Fucking go to it. All right, say that That's again. Which open mic is this? Uh, Temple, Temple University. University. Yeah, it's not on this week, but I think we're back on next week. And what time to start on Friday? Uh, Sign ups at seven. Uh, show starts at seven thirty. All right, solid, Matt. Thanks solid. again, man. Thank All you right. for having me. Tomorrow, weeding out the stone. Good, good comedy. I'm gonna be on that. I'm gonna be there. Yeah, yeah. That's a fun shout out show. to good, good. And that's like the day before Thanksgiving. That should be a nutty one. Hell yeah. And. We got this delinquent live at good good uh, December seventh, ten p.m. Ten p.m. Satoya and, and Brandon he called in. They we're, scheduled. There's they're they're a certified. We're guest. gonna have a lot of guests that night. I think All we're right. gonna have six guests. Normally we have four. It's gonna be a packed okay, night. Nice. We're gonna have them run. That means my part is gonna be short. You're always short. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I told you. y'all about laughing at his shit. <laughs> and uh, I got a lot of shows. Yeah, go should ahead. I keep Tell going? us about them. Yes, you should. Keep going. December. 17th, uh, Brian Isley, you know him? He's doing a show in Jersey somewhere, but I'll, check me out on Facebook. I'll show you. That's a great show. He puts together some good things. And then I think we're doing something eventually. What day was that? Oh, that's January. That's January. Uh, we'll worry about that show later. But I got a bunch of other sh- But check us out on Facebook, yeah. ch- uh, fire, Twitter, whatever the hell. Bino's in Philly doing something somewhere. Yeah, I got, I got shows coming up, but I'm not. I ain't really he runs the Open Mic Ivory and yeah. Ebony. No, I Homos. don't. No, I, don't yeah, I don't need you to do my plugs at all. That was so <laughs> last year. Uh, this year he's doing <laughs> what? What is it called? It's called right? Bucket List Comedy. It's first butt and fingers? First, but get doobies, list right? doobies butt first list? and third Sundays at Doobie. That's twenty second lumber. And we got the This Delinquent Life podcast Tuesdays at nine thirty p.m. Check us out. Laughcast dot com slash tdl. Y'all have a good night. This right. Delinquent Life. Thanks. Thanks.